welcome back guys my name is dragony today i am watching episode 32 32 there we go yeah that works whatever <laughs> of golden wind uh <clears throat> in the last episode Jordo beat the living fucking shit out of uh the chocolata guy with a muda muda for the ages holy shit and then at the end um we get a glimpse of the guy at the Coliseum, and I swear to God, it fucking looks like Polnareff. He has the hair and everything. If it's not Polnareff, I'm going to be shocked. And if it is Polnareff, I'm still going to be shocked. So I'm jumping right into this, because I want to see what the hell happens. I got to watch this, so let's just go. Oh, we're getting right into things. Jesus. Is this a bit of a flashback, or? Oh, it is. Okay. It Right, that's right, Bucciolati did get away from him. I actually forgot about that. Yes. <clears throat> oh, and someone commented telling me that green tea is actually green day. Thank you very much. It makes sense. I don't know why I didn't catch that. Still need to find out what sanctuary is, though. Okay. I mean, that works. Let's get into this. Green Day and Sanctuary, part three. Well, he's about to attack you, Bucciolati. You gotta be careful, buddy. Oh, it was the police and everything? It's all gone, man. Your buddy's dead. Always playing the second voicemail. Was this after, um, after you got the bullet to the head? So why would Polnareff know so much information about this? Oh, he's about to become unhinged. What? Whoa, that's that's a change. Huh. Uh, okay, well that makes sense. I guess he was just keeping with him to stay safe. He never actually liked him. How about that? Ooh. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Good job. Uh, good. Close enough. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Mr. Language Teacher.
Is he going to be okay with that cut in his neck? Ooh. Where Jordan and Mister Mister right now? Are they just heading straight to the Coliseum? Oh! Even I don't know, man. It's the person that we're getting there trying to meet. Bro, you better put your light on, man. Fucking wheelchair ass boy. Well, thanks for helping him out, I guess. <laughs> Where, where? Oh, the zipper. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck did he go? Uh huh. Is he moving towards the Coliseum? Stained. Man, don't don't diss uh, sticky fingers like that, man. What? Oh shit! Yeah, you're in his domain, Bucciolati. You're in his territory. You gotta be careful. And maybe. It really is like swimming in water for him. He's going to trick him somehow. He has to be tricking him somehow. Oh. I mean, maybe? He's just trying to get away from you, bro. God, that tongue. Oh, why is he eating? Okay. 
Okay. Oh. I thought it was just going crazy, but it had a natural reason. Oh! Fuck! Oh, that is so gross. It hardens. Oh my god. So he does have blood. I'm still a little, I'm still a little confused about the whole Bucciolati life force situation. Really? Oh, man, what are you going to do, Bucciolati? Okay, he has the arrow with him. That fucking has to be pulling there if... Oh, he's only 36. He's not even that old. What the hell happened to him? He's only 36 and he has like this big scar over his eye and he's in a wheelchair. What in the fuck happened to him? Was he that hurt after the end of um, Stardust Crusaders? Obviously, I need a little bit of a refresher. What have you been up to, Polinarish? What the fuck? He lost both of his legs. I remember him fighting Dio a little bit. Man, I gotta refresh myself with Stardust Crusaders, obviously. I'm glad to see uh, familiar characters returning, at least. It's always, uh, it's always a nice surprise. How can Bucciolai still run, man? Ooh. And yeah, that'll put him off your trail. Good job. Good thinking. <laughs> oh god what is he melting oh god is this Oh my god! But Jelani, get out of there! 
Oh shit, he hit him. Yeah, you right in front of him, basically. Oh. His heart has stopped. Jesus. Oh. Kill him with sound. <laughs> Can you? Oh, fuck. You don't even know where you are, buddy. Pretty sure he already did. Nah, you're done already. Well, just kill him, Buccellati. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Dopio. Oh, you grabbed the wrong kid, buddy. Oh, <laughs> what's Dopio going to do? Dopio, what you gonna do? I mean, he has to do something. Ooh. Oh, you fucked up now. I'm, that's true, actually. I'm surprised he can even stand with his leg. Oh! What did you do? Oh! Of course. Yeah, Buccellati's not going to do that.
Is he gonna? <laughs> Both of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're around, buddy. Oh, man. Well, Butch, Butch Alata, are you okay? Is this life force finally out? Oh, Dopio, what are you doing? Ah! Okay, things are getting really interesting. So Dopio finally made it to Rome on the boss's orders. And what are the fucking odds that, that Sekko, out of anyone and everyone, to randomly grab as a hostage, she would grab Dopio? <laughs> like, what are the odds of that? I don't know. If I, I, unless, unless Dopio was... They put himself there on purpose for the sake of trying to get in their way. I don't really see that. Like, there's no way that... It was just kind of like a convenience, you know? Dopio had to have been trying to get himself in there. Obviously, he wanted to keep tabs on Sekio and uh, Chocolata as per the boss's orders, but... I mean, I don't know. That felt a little... Uh, that felt a little too coincidental to me. But, I mean, it was still a great episode. We got Polnareff back. Polnareff is fucked up. He's he's in a wheelchair with two prosthetic legs. Did he have to get prosthetic legs at the end of Starter's Crusaders? I can't remember. I gotta I gotta check back on that. And to see if he really was this fucked up at the end of Starter's Crusaders or if something else happened in between this time. It looks like one of his eyes is blind as well. It was just uh, like like white uh, whited over and milky, so it looks like he's blind out of his one one of his eyes with a huge uh, Kakashi type scar. Fuck, Polnair has been through the fucking ringer, <laughs> but I'm I'm still happy to see him back, man. Starters Crusaders, hell yeah! I never expected to see Polnair again. What a nice surprise with that. Uh, the whole battle of uh, Sekka was very interesting. Man, Bucciolati can really fucking think on his feet. That, guy, that, guy's, that guy's got the uh, big brain, big guy, high IQ. Man, I fucking love JoJo. I'm so happy to be back. I can't wait to watch more JoJo with you guys. These episodes are so good. And I'm really getting to the end of, of Golden Wind now. I wish I could have watched it live with you guys. I'm sorry, but... It is what it is, man. So stay tuned for some more Golden Wind reactions coming soon. Uh, Hunter Hunter will probably come back after I uh, just get Golden Wind out of the way. I just want to finish up Golden Wind for my Golden Wind for my long-term fans who have been waiting for me to watch and finish up JoJo. So, with all that being said, stay tuned for more JoJo coming soon. Have a good day, guys.